The reason why this story has been broken today, I say not broken, but being broken today, in a carefully managed intelligence operation to give this very bad news the softest landing it could possibly get, is that the Turkish authorities, perhaps as a result of Turkey's new policy in Syria, or perhaps as a result of something else, perhaps revenge by Turkey for something else, who knows? But the Turkish authorities, who have custody of this Canadian intelligence officer, were about to make public the role played by Canadian intelligence in supplying brides and fighters to ISIS in Syria. I can bring you other news that is not yet known. That the family lawyer of Shamima Begum supplied all of this information to the then relevant British minister, Sajid Javid, five years ago, and that Sajid Javid completely ignored it, refused to comment on it, refused to engage with it. And I'll give you also some news. This story turns the legal tables completely. No court in England will uphold the British government's decision to remove citizenship from Shamima Begum. So we will have to accept this terrorist back into our country as a result of the British government's lying by omission in the cover-up of the Canadian role in supplying ISIS in Syria with brides and with fighters.